as you have played us um, throughout the board member, you've told us that you want us to be the premier school system. That is a very lofty goal, and I promise you that I'll stand beside you as you push there. Um, and my voting note today does not have any shining on how I feel about you. Thank you so much. Today, I believe against the board's election for the new superintendent. I believe my actions to be in line with what the taxpayer of the county wants. During the search for the new superintendent, the board asked the community and the staff to complete a survey indicating what they wanted in a new superintendent. The board also provided a time uh, to board meetings for the public to comment on their wishes for the new superintendent. In my opinion, it was obvious from the survey and results of the public comment that the folks in Cleveland County preferred a board hired someone outside the school district. With all the past controversy and current issues going on in our school system, the citizens felt like we would be better change and correct issues and move forward. We hire someone without and ties to the current administration. As a board, we have failed to follow the public's direction once again. The board also spent $15,000 for consultants to help us find the most qualified candidate. The public, it appeared that we wasted tax taxpayers' money again because we didn't select someone from the outside of the school system. I've been asked by several people why we need to spend $15,000 when we can find someone in our own backyard. I don't have a good answer, but I talked with Dr. Fisher yesterday about the superintendent's position. While I believe him to be a good person with, my, with many qualifications, I believe one of the other candidates from the outside our school system to be better suited to take us forward. I'll let, I'll let Dr. Fisher know that I will support and help him in any way that I can as a board member. I also let him know that many of the issues I have been discussing with finance abuse, hiring practices, still remain a problem in the school system and that I expect him to make real lasting and positive change. The folks who have done, done wrong needs to be held accountable. The citizens of Cleveland County I apologize that the board as a whole did not follow your wishes. I tried. You can be assured that I will continue to fight for what's right for the students, the teachers of Cleveland County. Educating our children is still our top priority. Please continue to let me and other board members know your concern. And I especially urge you to talk with other board members after this meeting.
Nevertheless, after the vote this morning, Dr. Fisher will be our new superintendent. I have full and complete confidence in his ability to lead Cleveland County Schools, and I look forward to a long and successful partnership.
disagree with some of my colleagues up here in wasting taxpayers' money. And most of you know me, I'm a hammering, so I'm a tight wad, as it is. Uh, but I do think that we owed our school system to find the best qualified person. And it was difficult. I'm sorry, but I do disagree with three of my colleagues on who is the best qualified and who is the better candidate. And we'll vote for Stephen Fisher. I would like to address, however, and agree with my colleague Jerry Hoyle regarding the survey. I think we had good participation, but we did not have 1,600 uh, replies, as the star said this morning. I somewhat checked Mr. Hoyle's figures, and I'm no statistician, but I don't believe figures on uh, out-of-county versus or out-of-system versus in-system uh, are statistically significant. It's a wash. I do believe that we as board members are elected to examine all sides of any, any issue, be as impartial and unbiased as we can. 
hands, although we know that the minute we're born, we become biased in certain directions. Environment changes it as we grow up. There is no such thing except for one person who is in this room uh, as a human being who is perfect. I'll stop now, and I think unless there's further discussion, I'll call the vote. All in favor of the motion approving the contract of Stephen Fisher as our superintendent beginning July 1, say aye. Any opposed? I believe the vote is seven to three. I believe I can count. I'm at six to three, sorry. And therefore, Dr. Fisher, we congratulate you. We welcome you and we look forward to any comments you might want to make.